After you've created the body of the speech, you want to go back to the introduction and finalize and fine tune to make sure that you've gotten all the requirements and just that it is the best introduction to gain the attention of your audience. So let's talk about the introduction and the goal of the introduction. First of all, you need to gain the attention and interest of your audience. You'll reveal your topic and or your central idea. You'll also establish your credibility and goodwill and you'll preview the body of your speech. How do we gain attention and interest? First of all, always relate it to your audience. If you can relate the topic, maybe what kind of benefit they'll get out of it, how it could become useful for them. Make it personal. State the importance of that topic, maybe for themselves, for the audience, for the nation. Maybe you could startle the audience with a, say, a video, even the same with arousing curiosity, with a video, audio, maybe a startling statistic, a fun fact. Also, you can question the audience. At this point with being online, it would be more of a rhetorical question. So you cannot get an overt response, such as a show of hands if it's an online course. So you are going to ask more rhetorical questions. You could tell a quote, say a quote, let us know where you got the quote, who it's by. Tell a story. This could be real, this could be hypothetical, such as a what if scenario. Be humorous could always reference the audience or the occasion again. I want to lead us into credibility and goodwill and we're going to discuss that you maybe even heard this term before that is ethos and that is the speaker credibility and it's the perception of what your audience thinks about you as a speaker, your qualifications, the goodwill, the perception of whether the audience feels that you as a speaker have their best interest in mind. All of that leads to the audience members listening to you, trusting you, believing you. And then the final thing in our introduction is the preview statement. So what this does is it will preview our main points going into our body. Some key things with preparing your introduction. Be very concise. You want to time this out. Your introduction should be 10 to 20% of your speech. Continue to look for materials as you research. If you find a great quote, don't forget about it. Get it right there into that introduction if that's where it belongs. Be creative. Use your imagination. This is where your creativity comes into play. I'll give you the guide of how to set everything up. You need to basically fill in the blanks. Again, you'll finalize it after the body is done and be very detailed. You want to have this and know this in and out.